Hey, what's up guys? I uh, wanted to share this quick little video. Um, I've been pretty much pacing back and forth in my room now, really thinking about a lot of shit. As you guys can probably see in the last couple of videos, I kind of been on edge, right? Trying to really hone down the price thing, right? Um, but one thing is for sure, I've tested both sides of the spectrum. In the beginning, I was selling my services at a couple of hundred dollars a month. Um, obviously it was too low. And at that time, my skill level it was actually not up to par. Um, and really, I can't really relate to myself back then uh, and, and my ability to do the fulfillment side, right? So that was that. But in the mid-2017, uh, my price range was around 1000 to 1200 right? And that was okay. I got a couple of clients at that price point, and um, I still have those clients, right? And yeah, that's that that was I would I would say that was the best part. Um, so far, that's what those that, that was the time frame when I got the results I currently have. Lately, I've been pushing for 2500 right? Which, in my testing, is too much. It just is, right? Am I saying it's, you can't sell a roofer um, for $2,500 for you know, marketing? Of, of course not. What I'm saying is that um, if you're running something, an agency similar to mine, an SEO agency, and you're trying to onboard clients, to get to a point where you predict, can predictably, predictably bring in business, uh, 2500 right off the get-go is too high. That's 100% what I'm saying, um, at least in my opinion, right? So what I'm doing is going back to my previous pricing, $1,000 to $1,500 a month, but the difference this time is I know the weight of each and every service, right? I'm not just, like in the beginning, when I was saying 300 I went to 1000 because I just wanted to make more money, right? Because everybody was saying, this time, yes, I went again up. A lot of it is because like, you know, people are charging more and I'm like, all right, I want to charge more too. But me coming back down is, 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 is there, there is like, I learned quite a bit. Basically, the analogy I could give is like a boxer, you know, when they shrink down in weight, um, they say that, you know, they got to get used to that, uh, that weight right now because they want to learn how to move their angles and everything in that current weight or when they go up like that. I went up for a bit and that weight wasn't my class, right? It was, it was too much, right? So now I'm coming back to my weight. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using this analogy, but the point is this, guys. I'm basically taking, shaving off the fat that is too long-term. So let me explain. In the $2,500 package, I was um, trying to package things that, are, that the roofer may not even need at the very moment. For example, he has all the SEO, all the things I need to do for the SEO, you know, maps and everything included. And then once he starts getting traffic and, you know, there's people coming to his website, then I also package in the Facebook ads, Facebook ads retargeting, right? A lot of my clients, a lot of, you know, people who you're trying to, you know, uh, market to don't even have any much traffic coming to their website off the get-go. So it is not really necessary for you to pack on that service right off the bat to make them, make that initial price point even heavier and heavier, right? So I'm taking that off, taking off anything with email marketing for long term to keep their homeowners or, you know, stay on top of their mind, taking all that stuff off because that can be upsells later. That can be later if they need it, all that stuff. The main thing I'm going down and the main different question I'm asking myself this time is this. Sorry, I'm like spitting on my mouth. Um, am I able to bring them a positive return on investment within a reasonable amount of time? Am I able to bring them a positive return on investment within, within a reasonable amount of time with this price point, right? Comfortably. And that's going to really do a lot with general maps domination, then followed by a general good SEO, getting them long tail keyword research, content marketing, um, really good keyword research, make them come up for all those pre-sale questions, all that stuff, right? So it's a very solid SEO package. but the other key thing that I'm going to be selling with it is a small package of AdWords. Whether it's $500 to $1,000, preferably $1,000, whatever it is, those are the new things that's going to take in the replacement, right? So if somebody becomes a $2,000 package now, it's going to be $1,000 SEO, $1,000 um, AdWords, or $1,500 SEO, $500 AdWords, right? The point with this is this. I will really explain to them, hey, SEO takes some time to work. Usually um, to, uh, about at least a minimum of 90 days or four months to get some decent results coming in. And within that time, I want you to be 
comfortable and not be panicky. So we, I would recommend you to take a package of AdWords, whether it be $500 or $1,000. Basically, this is what I was able to do for my current clients with using these AdWords. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, just be completely upfront with them. Like, look, I barely make any money on the AdWords side. This goes straight to Google. I'm just going to be managing it for you so you can be in the positive return on your investment right from the get-go. And then eventually when the SEO catches up, we can think about what to do. You can turn off the AdWords if you want. We can keep it. We can reallocate it in certain points where, you know, maybe you get a different kind of market share you're not able to capture with the SEO, whatever it is, right? The point is you would be over the initial hump. Both of you, this is not just us. This is the roofer too, guys. The roofer also takes some, obviously takes a massive risk when he signs on, even at $1,000, $1,500, right? Because a lot of times it'll take four, five, six months before it brings in a positive return on investment. The AdWords is a hedge in this package. And I think this is a fucking good product, okay? So that's that. And, um, you know, there's a lot of other, you know, there's a few other gurus in the, in the, in the space who's, you know, sharing, who's selling this product, like Mark Luckenberg is one of them, um, who, who, uh, you know, who was a big prominent of this kind of sale. I think who else does this brand? I forgot. But anyways, this is what I'm going to be doing now. Right? So I just wanted to let you guys know, I think this is what I feel really comfortable with. And it also lets me focus with just solid shit that I'm already really good at. Right? I'm not an expert in Facebook, but I would do it because just to make the whole package larger, bigger, add more value. Um, it's not hard to retarget ads, but it's, you know, it might be a little difficult to run the ads, but retargeting is pretty easy. And I, I advise people to learn it. You know, if you, if you're not want to get into Facebook ads, just at least learn the retargeting side of it. It's It's great for your clients when they're getting traffic. But the point is solid SEO combined with solid AdWords. They don't have to take the AdWords. They don't have to, but I will definitely every single time pitch it. I'll tell them, Hey, I don't make, I barely make any money on that. I'm managing it for you as you're, because you're doing SEO with us. Um, then once you start getting results, I will, uh, you know, once it, once the SEO starts being in, you can choose to take it off or not. But for now, I really recommend taking it so you don't have to be on edge from the get go. All right. So hope that helps. This is what I'm going to be selling now. And um, yeah, guys, let's see. It's what is it? 7, 12. December, I mean, January 24th, and this is the new product I'm selling. So let's see in the next 30 days what comes out of it. Peace.